How's it going guys? It's Eclipse here and today we're taking a look at how to play Prokhorovka. This is the um, the kind of the most open map in the game I'd say in terms of just there's literally no buildings except from a few different places on the map. Um, yeah you have a few places that you can go to um, for a little bit of cover but the predominant amount of the map is is pretty much open. Um, as you can see, there's this uh, there's this wooded area to the left of the map, um, and then you've got over to the right, you've got the hill where a lot of the um, action can take place, and then um, you have this this kind of centre ridge line over there, uh, which is the the key place for the map and where pretty much uh, the majority of the fighting goes. Um, whoever wins um, this kind of middle area and over onto the few the flanks of the map tends to win the game. Um, if the enemy team win the left hand flank, uh, because there are a few uh, dips and ridges over there, um, they're more likely to win the game because they can progress into your spawn and then you get shot from all over. Um, and then the right of the map uh, generally has uh, some really good um, spots over here as well, except from you can get shot from the middle of the map. And we're going to go over exactly uh, how you should be playing Prokhorovka, and hopefully, this will be uh, an in detail guide as to um, really getting the most out of the game and um, and doing the best on Prokhorovka that you can in your various different tank classes. Obviously, we've got mediums, lights, heavies, tanks, destroyers, uh, and artillery. Artillery are just pretty much we won't cover that because it's um it's just basically you need to get down in this spot here on this side of the map or you can go over to the very uh, far end um of the map over in this corner uh, on the center of the screen um on the railway track right at the back um but yeah we'll move on to um where you should be going um as a heavy tank, this map is probably not your favourite one, uh, but that's what we're going to start with um, in terms of which tank uh, and where you should be going. This VKB is making the age-old mistake of going into this area here. Um, in a heavy tank, you don't have U range. You don't usually have, um, you know, low concealment, which means that if you come up against light tanks, mediums, tank destroyers with good view range, you're just going to get outspotted, you're going to get absolutely obliterated on the left hand side of the flank, um, so long as you're you're not just sat at the back and camping in one of the bushes waiting for your mediums to spot, um, you kind of become just a, a really bad TD at the point where you're, you'll be playing like that though, so it's, it's really good to, to get up in positions that suit your tank uh, and that's where the hill kind of comes in um, over on the right hand side so don't do what the VKB does don't always go over the left hand side um, it's not particularly the best thing you should be doing uh, in terms of playing on the game you definitely don't really want to be going over there unless you are um, like a high alpha heavy maybe uh, one that has that's fairly small as well so you know you could play over there in something like a fast heavy like the IS-7 um, but for the for the case of this we're looking at traditional heavies that just really aren't particularly great in those sorts of situations um, Heavies like the T-57 Heavy are obviously excused because they are kind of like a like a heavily armoured medium slash, you know, they've got gun depression. They're not a traditional heavy and we won't take them as being a traditional heavy. So you still want to come over the, here though uh, in, in those sorts of tanks, but, you know, you want to take this area on the map. So you see that from that spawn, obviously you can um, come over to the hill. You can use both sides of the hill. Um, this one offers a little bit, well, I say a little bit more protection, but you can get shot in the side from the middle when you come up here. So when you do come up on this side of the game, starting in the uh, the north spawn of the map, uh, when you look at the mini map, um, you want to make your way this way round rather than... Um, rather than coming in through this this area here because as you progress because you're you generally slower you can get shot in the side from the middle of the map which is a position that we'll talk about later uh, when we look at one of the other classes so always come the long way round and that's generally the case on most um, maps you should always take the longer way round that you're going to be 100% safe because you know nine times out of ten yeah if you went this way you might not get shot but what happens on that time where you do, you get tracked, you get, you know, it could be a 57 heavy in the middle over in uh, in that area. And they could be clipping you in the side and that's all your health gone. Or, or it could be a Death Star or a, um, an FE 4005, which takes, you know, more than half your hit points away in one shot. Um, 
and so you know be careful um, and make sure that you you take the long way around you know come come this way um, use this ridge here to protect yourself from anyone that might YOLO this side come up and around and then make your way onto the hill you can in heavies you know move into the middle of the map but uh, as, as a general rule you do want to go up the hill uh, especially on this map because you know there is a cap circle that everyone seems to forget on on maps uh, and you know we'll talk about that yet again later on um, as we go through this video um, as another position you can use this position here use this as your cover from the hill um, at which point you can also poke out and shoot people on the hill as well so remember as you come out you can hit people up here, use your gun depression a little bit um, to shoot people that might get spotted um, camping in the middle at the back of their, their side. Um, you want to be aware though when you move up into this position, mediums who are aggressive and use this bowl area here which we'll refer to as the bowl because um, you can see that it's covered a little bit on all sides you know you've got hills um, around you and this is where um, a lot of the spotting happens they can shoot you from here um, and they're going to be holed down more than likely because medium tanks get good gun depression uh, as a whole and they'll, they'll be able to shoot you in the side so you can use this little bump here um, to stay a little bit hold down against them um, but yeah be aware of that so remember as a heavy tank you want to be fighting on top of this hill um, you can use that that this kind of wreck here that's already on fire from the uh, southern spawn. Uh, you can use this to stay in cover from people that are in that position I just was at um, because they can shoot you here. But predominantly you want to be facing the other heavies that are over here on, on top of this hill uh, and progressing the fight in that way. Don't, whatever you do... Um, once you've won and your team aren't winning in this section here, so in the place where I was just at, if if you haven't won that area, then do not just come across this this area here, um, because what happens is you will get shot on the side. It's so open, and even players at the back of their spawn can shoot you. Similarly, from the other side, if you win the hill um, or you think you win the hill, um, you can get shot from the side as again, and definitely crossing this is a, is kind of a kill zone and not somewhere where you really want to be going um as a general rule obviously if you've progressed through the middle this side of the map and on the hill and you've and you've secured this area here where you know that you won't get shot here um i think the view range of most or like the render range so where you can get shot from is about here on the map so they won't be able to see you past this point of that kind of like car right there so you know if anyone's even there and you do get spotted they're not likely to shoot you unless they're like gone past this area and they're using this uh, this place here so remember that's that's a key thing you know progress the flank you know take out any of the enemy heavies that might be over here be aware artillery can really ruin your day up here and so you need to um, try and put yourself in the most angled place where the shell is going to find it hardest to hit you. Um, but yeah, th this is a key place for, for the map and, and where you should be going in your heavies. Obviously that middle position can be used if you're in a heavy with a bit of gun depression. If you're in something like a an IS-7 where you don't get a lot then yeah, not somewhere I'd be going uh, generally. Um, now in terms of moving on to the next class of medium um, we want to be talking about the positions that you can use now this map is great for medium so I'm not going to lie there's all sorts of positions you can use you can use your gun depression you can use your speed you can use your spotting uh, your view range and stuff like that to really have a, an amazing game and I think that this map although everyone goes on about light tanks being the best on this map I genuinely think it's mediums I think that they have the biggest potential uh, just because they have the ability to spot and they also have the ability to have some good DPM to be able to out-trade opponents and stuff like that and use your hold down positions with some reasonable turrets on mediums um, to be able to like you know trade with some heavies. Now starting on the southern spawn where do you want to go in your medium tank? Well you've got quite a few options um, generally I'd like to say I go into this this area over here because at the start of the game what I can do is I can progress over here up to this big rock, put this big rock in between you and everyone else. Don't come right up though. So what you want to do is just slowly make your way up, poke the ridge and then pull back straight away. So you'll spot the enemy light tanks that make their way up here. You'll also spot a lot of people that cross over in their heavies too far forward. 
um, which means that they can get lit up by some um, artillery pieces and stuff like that in the game, as well as some uh, TDs that might have aggressively pushed on on your side. So, you know, this is a good spot for at the beginning of the game in your medium tank. Uh, just literally pop up here. Um, you can sometimes shoot light tanks that make a make a straight line towards you and then pull back down. Remember, artillery is is probably gonna. Um, going to be focusing you because you will probably be one of the first spotted in the game so remember pull pull back straight away do not do not come over the ridge going over the ridge on this map is a key to losing you do not want to go over the ridge um way too early i mean it, it can be done at the late stage of the game but not when um you first start never go over the ridge um fully um at the start of the game now once I've spotted it over this side, what you have to be aware of is people crossing up onto the hill who can shoot you in the side. So remember, poke this ridge, spot anyone, try and get a shot of damage in very quickly, but don't stay too long. Literally just poke up. If you can get a shot of damage, that's great. And then pull straight back down because the whole enemy team is going to swing around and try and shoot you. So remember, literally just auto aim if you have to uh, try and shoot someone. Uh, and if you don't hit anyone, it doesn't matter because you've spotted a lot of people and you're going to pull back down here. And then what you want to do is make your way over to this area so you can't get hit from the side up on the hill. Once you've done that, then you can either stay here and re-spot the opponents uh, and keep using this spot and then hopefully the people on your team over there are going to spot the people on the hill and you can get some side shots in um, as the medium over here and then just literally you can get side shots into people that cross as well so it can be a really good position but you do have that thing of being constantly spotted usually uh, and being aware of artillery is always a key thing the exact same is on this side of the map you know you can you can poke over um using this rock um just to spot anyone uh, be aware that you're probably more vulnerable from the hill on this side of the map so you literally just want to slowly or not slowly poke but poke as soon as you can and then pull back straight away even more so so don't even try and get shot damage and then move your way back over here so you can't get hit from the side on the hill uh, once you're here you can use your gun depression get some vision on um, people shooting on the hill as well as other uh, mediums that might have pushed up here and yet again be aware of that bowl area over there now if you if you've had enough of this position you spotted the enemies you got a little bit of damage you can move over to this hill area over here um, now be aware you want to stay right down um, as far as you can you want to come right over this way so you can't get spotted and hit by the TDs that are going to be camping in the in the foresty bit on the left hand side of the map um, so yeah you want to come over here and then you what you can do is you can sl like just poke this ridge to spot opponents uh, and get you know on this map you don't want to be waiting around for too long to try and get a shot of damage because more than likely you're going to get focused by a lot of tanks um, on this on this side uh, and on the opponent side what I wouldn't recommend is actually going down into the bowl because what happens is a lot of the enemy light tanks uh, on the game are going to come in there with you and try and YOLO you and it would just won't be worth it. I mean it won't be worth it for them but equally it won't be worth it for you because you know they're going to ruin your day especially if they're an auto loading light tank that just doesn't know how to play the game and you know YOLO's in at the start so you can go in there in the late game if you're trying to spot and press out that spotting damage for your team. Um, to be able to spot the people right over here that are camping. Um, but yeah, this bowl area here um, does offer a little bit of protection from artillery because it's um, it's like wet, which means that artillery splashes less um, if they splash in the water, um, which means you won't get hit as hard by the splash. Uh, direct hits will still do full damage though, so, you know, just don't get hit by... Um, uh, artillery is you know, harder than it may sound, <laughs> um, but yeah, be aware of that, uh, so usually that's more of like a mid, like to late game, or a late mid game play, um, but generally just come over, um, just poke that, that area, and then you want to be just using this ridge line, or you, additionally you can go on the hill uh, like the heavies can, because you do have that gun depression, just be aware of just shooting uh, the people in the side over here, and the people on the hill as well. So yeah, these are the kind of key areas that you want to be going in. You don't want to be in the middle like here because what happens is people poke up and then, you know, you're able to get shot from over there. You're able to get shot from in front of you. People camping on the rail tracks in the spawns can hit you. Uh, and this counts for both sides of the map. Um, 
basically don't poke the very mid of the mid ridge because it's really bad um, and that's something you don't want to be doing um, now we'll move on to another class like these are general um, guidance so it's not necessarily like a full in-depth thing because the video would be an hour you know it's going to take way too long um, but we are going to kind of go over the spots that you really want to be looking at and where you can move so in a light tank what you want to do is use this area here so what you can do is come over knock down as many trees as you can because they'll provide cover um, and concealment so knock down all of them try and place the trees that you knock over in a position where they're lining up with each other and then you can use this bush right here um, to get a vision make sure that you're stationary and that you're behind a bush as well and, and you just poke the bush um, and spot don't go shooting at opponents straight away at the start of the game because it is risky and people that progress into this bowl area can shoot you as well as people over there in the um that are camping at the back can also hit you so be aware of that you are raised up over here but you can get some serious assistance damage over here and uh, so long as you're lining up the shots and pull right back behind the bushes so um you've got loads and loads of bushes in front of you, you can you can shoot opponents from here um but don't go forward too much if you're going to want to uh, shoot opponents in front of you now on the opposite side of the map it's a little bit harder to spot opponents um, because you don't get as much concealment over this side um, but what I tend to do is you know I'll make a make a play into the middle here this mid ridge and just uh, scout the middle of the map um, if on the other side you know you do go into that position you get spotted you want to come down get as fast down and then get into you know the medium spots that I've I've talked about so you can just slowly crest the ridge um, or as fast as possible even and then then pull straight back down so don't spend long out in the out in the line of sight you want to literally just crest the ridge come straight back down um, and then just keep doing that um, try and keep it in places where they're, they're not the exact same place you want to be coming up at different points so people can't just pre-aim where you're going to be don't just pop up you want to be on full speed on the move literally pop up and, and go back down the hill uh, in an erratic motion so you know artillery can't predict you either and uh, it's going to make it a lot harder to get hit and you'll spot a lot of the people that are camping back there or potentially shoot you um, or take a shot at you uh, when their camo gets um, reduced when they shoot or when they fire and then what happens from this spot spots um, you know you can crest basically over here but as a light tank you want to be primarily on the left hand side of this hill just spotting everything um, if you then want to progress from the southern spawn you want to come into this bowl and use this like ridge line here and just like peak people um, and you'll spot people in this corner over in the back where the cap camping tank destroyers are and also where I highlighted as a light tank you can go in this area here where the bushes are and uh, when you spot them you can get some ridiculous spotting damage so remember um, stay alive in your light tank don't YOLO over don't go in to clip one person that is the most infuriating thing as both being a light tank driver that knows how to actually play a light tank and also being the person receiving getting YOLO by a light tank um, with an auto loader that thinks they they're so good by coming over against your entire 15 teammates uh, or 14 teammates and me um, you know it never works on this map do not ever go over the top of the hill in a light tank at the beginning of the game because that's a, uh, a way to just be removed from the game and you'll have fun in the next one and an absolute waste of playing Prokhorovka with a light tank um, but yeah so that's an idea for you guys in light tanks and we'll move over to the TDs now um, to kind of finish up the video uh, now the key thing with um, playing TDs is staying hidden this map is not good if you're uh, always spotted and that's why having a good concealment crew on your TDs is always good so where do I go with TDs I never go up the hill I never go over there I will always always go over on the left hand side with all of these bushes um, you know it can be terrible if you've got no teammates coming here at which point I will go over to the right hand side so if you're if your team lemming trains the hill um, and there's only like two or three of you over this side uh, to be able to cover you then don't you know 
follow the lemming train like make sure you follow the lemming train because if you go on your own you're going to get absolutely annihilated and yeah it's not actually worth trying to defend a flank even though it is the best place for your tank you just have to admit that you know it's not going to be a good game or it's not going to be an optimal game and you have to take the chance and go over to the railway tracks on the other side um if your team lemming train this whole mountain or cliff area um or hill um on this side of the map you want to be coming up to this position right here uh, in your TD knock over as many trees as you can provide some extra concealment for yourself you want to knock this tree over ideally 90 degrees so it comes right across this area here you don't want to knock it down forwards you want to actually move your tank around and knock it down sideways so it um, comes like sideways across and that will provide concealment even further like in terms of you know if someone's progressing up to the left um, and it will make it harder for you to get spot spotted you want to stay still on this map as a TD unless you're obviously trying to move in to shoot someone um, because what happens is when you move in a TD that you know you're more likely to get spotted because it's it blooms out your uh, detection range so people are e can find it easier to detect you now as a TD come up to this little ridge line people can't hit you from straight ahead or the bowl um, and then you can shoot people that might go into the magical bush um, but be aware you might get spotted um, by there at which point you want to pull back straight away as fast as possible so that no one can hit you except the peer person in the bush um, or ideally you can just tank the hits and literally try and outspot them in that bush because if they get spotted in the magical bush um, up there um, then they're pretty much dead because what happens is um, they'll get spotted and your whole team that are behind you can shoot them and, and it's not going to be fun for them. On the other spawn uh, you can use this area right at the back it's kind of a similar spot uh, you know that place we mentioned before as a light tank you can come into this spot here um, you can use this to be able to shoot people that poke over this ridge and also anyone on the mid ridge um, that comes over use these position here knock down the trees like I said before in your TD and then um, just camp here basically and wait for the enemies if you do get spotted you want to make an absolute beeline over here um, to this ridge like this kind of slope here where you you can only actually get shot from people that come up into the to this main ridge line type thing up there um, so yeah be be sure to uh, move straight away as soon as you get spotted because what happens is um, you can get hit by that position I was just showing you on the opposite side of the map um, and from the middle anyone that pokes over and tries to get a shot on you so yeah that's what that's where you want to go in TDs you want to move the, and use this side if you're winning you want to progress uh, putting as many bushes in between you and the opponents um, if you win this side it's always good to um, you know focus on anyone that might have won the area in E6 you know this hill area you can get shots on them that the opposition side sometimes win and they'll you know come over a little bit too much and you can punish them using these bushes over here and then additionally you want to move up now remember if it's if it's encounter and you've got the cap circle and people are in it if you hit or damage anyone in the cap it resets the cap counter to zero so it will take them the full amount of time to um to reset to do the cap again so if you see that you're going to lose by cap in like 20 seconds you need to make a beeline to the cap circle hit someone in the cap and then instead of hitting the same person you need to hit someone else in the cap as well and you know the cap points or like the um, the cap time is stored on a person's vehicle so if you damage them in the tracks or you damage them actually in game um, you need to damage multiple people because it will be shared the cap time um, so you know if there's two minutes on the cap there's two people in the cap and you know they're a, then they're pretty much capped at the game what will happen is it's shared 50 50 so if you hit one of them you know even if you only track them or damage the track it counts as a reset so always aim for the tracks if someone's in the cap and you're going to lose to cap yolo in because you know it's better than just losing the game straight up and it gives your team a chance i know it sucks when your team don't go to the cap but you definitely need to go into the cap to try and reset if you have the ability to and you're going to lose the game now once you've reset that person it will then reset the cap circle back to 50% uh, 
um, say if you were 100% cap pretty much and then the other person whoever else is in the cap will have 50% of the time as well so you'll be down to one minute until the enemy caps and then if you hit them it will be back to zero um, so they'll have to re like do the whole cap timer again for two minutes um, so remember that's the key to victory uh, on encounter modes and also standard caps that works on any single cap circle I've seen a lot of people not seeming to realize that and it's been so frustrating uh, when you know there's a medium that's sat here who's when the enemy team is capping they don't even spot the cap um, to be able to reset it or to allow your teammates to reset it um, and that's kind of key in this game um, so yeah I hope this kind of guide of Prokhorovka was somewhat decent I know it's kind of hard to to do it properly because you know I could be sat here for an hour two hours doing a map review of how to play Prokhorovka but for the beginners going in the spots that I've mentioned is is probably your best bet and you know you're going to do you're going to open up the game to your tank uh, to the best of your ability really by going to that that ta those kind of spots I can't go through every single situ situation or scenario where you know say if the whole team yoloed through this middle bit or down into your spawn what are you going to do well you know I can't go through that scenario because there's there could be a million of those different ones but you know predominantly you want to use these different tracks and, and just progress the flank as you normally would make sure that you put rich lines in between you and your opponents to be able to win the game better um, and that's really your key to success and using those different positions that I mentioned uh, in the game to really have uh, the best game you possibly can other than that I really do hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit that like button um, it did take a little while to make and, and I really do appreciate any support that you give the video if you want to see more of them make sure you subscribe and let me know if you found it helpful because if it isn't helpful um, then there's not much point of me doing these and you know I won't waste my time um, obviously it's good to, to hear your feedback so let me know other than that I hope you guys have a good rest of your day check out some of the content on screen right now if you want to uh, and but otherwise i'll see you in the next video goodbye